This is Gemara and Eir Vindav Chavdalit. All the learning for Chaydish Ella is sponsored as a Chos for Shleim Shana Tov Bas Esther, as well as Chos Yilin Shmasa Esther Yitzel Bas Rameir. Of course, all our Chaydim Yidim Meir Ben Yakir Menu Ben Vehi Chaim Ramin Chanita Chaim Ben Sarish Some Zivim Rizei Zos Sar Bas Yinem Zos Bas Yim Bas Chay Sarish Zos Chaim Ben Sarish Hester Yisrael Yoel Ben Mindel Yisrael President Shav Leia Shlomim Bas Navi Bas Shav Figur Shir Chana Fal Dava Ben Itariva Daniel Ben Chana Rizal Ben Sarish Shay Chali Yisrael. We're going to pick it up from the bottom of Gimel Med Beis. And I'm hoping by now everyone has realized that uh, there's been some technological uh, glitches with Torah anytime and this and that, but all the Shirim are found both on the podcast option and on YouTube right now, which makes the video, the very high quality video, which makes that easier. So if anyone, uh, if you don't ever find the Shir, hopefully we see the Shemaya, it's not because the Shir wasn't recorded, it's because it's just not up for some reason. So please go look at the other avenues, check it on Twitter anytime if you want, on YouTube if you'd like to subscribe on the podcast or feel free to be in touch, send me an email. Let's pick it up from the bottom of Chav Kimlo Mabez. Really, we started this yesterday, but let's uh, pick it up as this, this is going to be today's big discussion. So what's this case? This is this Karfif. This is enclosure, which we spoke about many times. Hopefully by now we're starting to get a feel of this item. It's some sort of enclosed area with walls. However, due to its size, the Rabbanon were nervous. You're going to come to confuse it with a Rosh Rabim. So therefore, Midr Rabbanon, they did not allow you to carry. So if you now have this Karfif, this enclosure, that's more than Beis Asayim, Shahukaf Ladira, but it is surrounded to be a dira, to be a dwelling. That is the good words. Whenever something is a private dwelling, you can make your house as big as you want, it's gonna be mutter to carry in there. However, what did you do after you surrounded it for a dira? Then you went and Nizra Rubai, you put down seeds, you put down vegetation, then it's Kagina, right? Kagina Vas, or you can't carry there. Why? Very simple. It's a garden. A garden is not a place you do, live in. It's not a dwelling area. You can't carry there. Not a rubai, but if you put trees down, then as a dinner of a chatzar, you chill there, you hang out there, you walk amongst the trees. That is a deal, a dwelling type of area. Therefore, it is mutter. This is the basic classification, and it's important to know this tremendous ramifications that Allah Maisa based off these dinam. But the basic classification that we see so far is when the area is there as a dira, as living purposes. Trees are an area that you could sit in and you could enjoy, and that is a living purpose. It's mutter to carry there. Whereas gardens, vegetation, things like that. That is not a living purpose, therefore you cannot carry in that area. Says the Gemara. Nizra, Rubai, let's say the majority of you was planted with this vegetation. I'm Rav Huna, to be sure. Loya Maran, Eloyoyserimi, Beis Asayim. That's only when it's more than this two saw, I meaning because that's the point that this area is so large that it's similar to Rosh Hashanah. Avil Beis Asayim, but if it's equal Beis Asayim, Mutter, you're going to be allowed to carry. Come on, who is that according to? That's the opinion of Kerv Shimon, as we've seen, the Tanan. Rav Shimon, Oimer, Rechagagos, Echazirs, and Karfibos, Rosh Achaz, Hain. They all have a din of one verse, just like Kilim Shazav, which is something that we're going to talk about later in the Mesechta, for items that are in their area inside the Chatzar. Veloy, like Kilim Shazav, Zuzachabayis, not to Kilim that started the Shabbos in the house. That's a din. Everything goes by where it begins. So therefore, in such a case, according to Rav Shimon, you're going to be allowed to carry. Says the Gemara, one second, Rav Shimon, Nami, Kivan, Deniz, Arubai, Have, Ha'u, Mi'uta, Bato, Moving on to Chavtil, Dalam, and Aleph, Bato, Le, the Gabe, Ruba. What's going on over here? Very good, it's surrounded for this part of it left over. Why is that little part bottle? Again, the majority of the area has been in our garden. But then there's a little bit area left, so why is that little area bottle? And therefore, the whole area should be like the garden, you should not be allowed to carry. Says the Gemara, No, because once you include that little bit area, now it's larger than a base of Zayim, and therefore, Vasar is going to be forbidden to carry there. Says the Gemara, Eli Yitmar, Achi Yitmar, Hamiyuta Shari, that in the little area you could carry, and that's going to be the reason, like the beginning of Rav Shimon. Amr Rav Huna Bredi Yeshua Le'amar, and he switches it around. Ela D'lo Avi Beis Asayim. The only case where it's permissible, where it's not a Beis Asayim. Avul Beis Asayim, once it's 5,000 Amis, once it's Beis Asayim, 72 thirds, 72 thirds. Also, you cannot carry Keman Kerabonan, who obviously argue under Rav Shimon, and do not allow you to carry in such an area. 
Rabbi Yirmiyah with Difti Mas and the Kula, and he learns the same discussion, just flipped it on the Kula. Hamiyuta Shari, he says, like we thought, nah, I mean, you could yes carry in this small area. Amr Avhuna, Rabbi Yishul, Amr Nela, Bisasayim, Avul Yoyser, Bisasayim, Aser, Keman, Kirav Shimon, like the opinion of Rav Shimon. That is the end of this first piece. We're just going to pull up a picture here. It's really going to be the later picture, just to remind us this is a Karfif. This is an area which is surrounded. You see, it's used for storage, it's used for different items. It's an area that's right in the back of your house. This is a Karfif. And now, this case in front of you, we're going to discuss in a moment. Says the Gemara, the two dots. Not Aruba, If you put down trees in the majority of the area, then we said as a din of a chater, because trees are an area that you could chill in, that you could hang out in, therefore it's permissible to carry. That's only if you made the trees in rows. It's only if you made the trees orderly fashion, that's where you can hang out there. I'm sorry, I skipped. Then therefore you can carry there. Says the Gemara of Rav Nachman, he argues, No. If you plant trees, trees are an area that you hang out in. Therefore, even if they're not perfectly lined rows, you still can hang out there. Mar Yehuda, I call the Rav Huna Bar Yehuda. He visited Rav Huna Bar Yehuda. Rav Huna Bar Yehuda. Chazinu la'anu d'la'evi d'stablais. He saw there was a field that wasn't made in order. There was a lot of trees, but it wasn't in rows. Come and talk to the big man. They were carrying it there. Amr le'i. Lo yisav v'lamar lo'ad v'avimi. You don't know this din of avimi. That's only when the trees are in rows. Amr le'i. Anak Rav Nachl. Zir le'ol like Rav Nachlin, which is forbidden. I'm sorry, which is permissible even when it's not in rows. Says the Gemara. Amr Nachl. Amr Shmuel. Karev if you use me to say him. Shelo yokaf ladira ketzer uosa. Okay. So now the Gemara wants to know. Tachlis. What do I do? I have this area, which is enclosed, not for dwelling purposes. Again, a car faith, which is, it's too big. It's not good. It's the one that's awesome. Well, how do you allow, what do you do? What can you do to permit carrying in this area? Says the you know you should do? Pirates, barbarians, or yes, man. Sir, bust open a wall more than 10 amos, the god dry, and then fix the fence. Um, amidoy al eser, um, water, and then you're going to be allowed to carry. That was this picture that we showed a moment ago. You see over here, the wall is visibly open, but if you go and you, if you go and you close it up, then that's going to be how you're going to be allowed to carry. See, by Lu, the Gemara has a question. Parat ama, the godr ama, parat ama, the godr ama, until the end of the day, it's more than 10 filled up. Now, what's the din? So here's a picture, but really we have to explain. Basically, you have this hole that's 10 amis. And, and we said that what do you have to do? You have to parat v'godar. So what did he do? He broke down a part of the fence, and then he rebuilt it. He broke down, and then he rebuilt it. So there was never a point in time that the full 10 amis was exposed, because he kept on rebuilding it. What's the din in this case? If anyone says some like thing and niggling in their brain that this sounds slightly familiar, because this was Gemara and Shabbos, says the Gemara is about to prove. Says the Gemara, he buy it one more time. Part time for God, I'm a part time for God, draw. I just sleep with the ice and me ask him out. Amr le, lava, I knew the Tanan is not the Mishnah. Call Kli Balibatim, all the vessels of a homeowner, she who run can remind him. The shear is a remind. That as long as there's not a hole in the vessel the size of a remind, you're going to be allowed to carry. It, not allowed to carry, I'm sorry, it will not be Makabal Toma. Once it has the hole the size of a remind, then it's considered a broken vessel, and then you can't carry in there anymore. Then, again, I'm sorry, I keep on saying carry. Then it will not be Makabal Toma anymore. But if it has a hole the smaller than a remind, smaller than a pomegranate, then it's considered a full vessel, and it's still going to be Makabal Toma. Of course, the din that we spoke about many times in Gemara and Shabbos, that the din is a broken vessel, no longer Makabal Toma. So what point is it considered a broken vessel when it has a shear of a rebind in it? And Chizkiah asked on this, on this Gemara, on this Mishnah, Nikav Gemaitzi Zayis, you made a hole the size of a Zayis and all of a small hole. Vissasma, and you closed up the hole. Vichaz, and Nikav Gemaitzi Zayis. And then you made another hole the size of a Zayis. Vissasma, and you closed that up. Until if you were to combine all the whole areas, it would have been a remind. So here's a picture, although although in this picture you can't really see much, but here's a picture, and they show nicely these little holes over here. Basically, the point is you kept them making all and filling it up, making all and filling it up, making all and filling it up, until eventually all those holes, if you were not to fill them up, it would have been the size of a remind, as you see so beautifully over here. What is the din? In this case, Mao, 
Vamer Lein, he responded, Vamer Lein, Rabbi Yechran, Rabbi, Shinisa Lanu, you taught us the following. Sandal, Shinifska Achaz Mihaznav, you have a sandal that one of its two straps rips, Vitikna, and you fix that strap. Tame Midras, it's still Makabal Tama, it doesn't become Tar, the fact that one strap rips, it's still going to be Tame. Nifzika Shniya, if the second strap rips, Vitikna, and you fix it, Tar. Bin Hamidras, now it's going to all of a sudden be Tahar. Says the Gemara, Avotami Maga Midras. Vamrit Allah. And we asked on this case, what's going on over here? Maishna Rishayna, Takayma Shniya, Shnima Nami, Nami, Akayma Rishayna. This is a Gemara that we have repeated in Gemara and Shabbos. What's going on over here? Says, ask the Gemara, when the first strap ripped, you still have the second strap there. So it was still a functioning shoe. That's the reason why it's still Makabal Tama. So why, when the second strap rips, is it not Makabal Tama anymore? You still have the first strap because you fixed it. Basically, it's two straps. One ripped, and you still have the second one. Then what did you do? You fixed the first, and then the second ripped. So I asked the Gemara, I don't understand. When the second one ripped, the first one is still there. Why is the din different in these cases? And he's telling his Rabbi, Rabbi Yechran. He's telling his Rabbi. Um, I'm sorry, not his Rabbi, Rabbi Yechran. Yes. And he responded, you taught us, the pshat is that it's a new face, it's a new item. True, the original sandal strap was there, but that's because you built it. At the end of the day, what's the sum total? Full straps ripped, and they're both new straps. So to in our case, it's a new entity in the case of the basket. Each hole, even though each one he refilled up, at the end of the day, there was a whole area that was lacking the size of a remind, and therefore it will be not in the din of Tumah, it will be not Makabal Tumah, because it will be considered like a new vessel, a broken vessel that you fixed. And so to in our case of our Mavui, that we want to know, the this bus, can you bust open this wall and rebuild it piece by piece, as well it will be Mutter. Why? Because at the end of the day, the whole area of Ten Amis was rebuilt, and therefore, it will be a car faith that was who got car la la unless then a bar in it. You're not a human being. You're a malach. What a wonderful terence. Egan the army says the gemara a little bit of different la shine. Kondin bar nosh like a wonderful person again appraising matter that they're telling him that they love the terence that he just said. They love the fact that he equated it to his other case that it's part of chadashos. So too in our case. Amar Rav Kahana about thirty lines to the bottom. First one line is Kahana Rechava Shachiri Abatin a backyard. You have this big open area outside the back of your house. You can only carry in that area. Comes like Rav Nachman. He explains. Again, you have this big backyard. So first the Gemara said, you can only carry Dalit Amais. Comes like Rav Nachman. He says, ah, you know why you can only carry Dalit Amais? Because there was no doorway opening from your house into that area. Since there's no doorway from your house into that area, it's not functioning as part of your house. It's not a living area. So therefore, says Rav Nachman, if you bust open a door into that backyard, now it's your backyard. Now it's somewhere that you live. You only have to carry there. Says Gemara, Pasach Matirai, V'loy Amara, and Ela Shepasach, Ulubsay Vukaf. It's only in a case where you made the door between the house and this backyard area, and then... Hukaf, then you surrounded by a fence. Avol hukaf lupsay pasach, but if it already had the fence, and then you made the door a loy, that's not going to work because it doesn't work once there's already the fence and you make the doorway afterwards. Says the Gemara, pasach lupsay hukaf shita. I understand that case was pashit. That's a normal case. You made a doorway, now you have a backyard, then you went and you closed the backyard with a fence. Of course, you could carry there. It's a regular Rishon Sayyach connected to your house. Says the Gemara, like Tzricha, this bay, this bay, bay dari. There's some sort of granary in the backyard. Ma with the demo, so therefore I would have thought, I died in the bay dari on day. Why did you make that door into the backyard? Oh, you know why you made it? Because there's a granary there. Not necessarily because you want to, do you have the urine, you want to live there. You want to have a shamshas, a usage there. Kamash Malan, then no, even though there is a granary there, we view the door as if it's, you want to carry it, it's part of your house. Therefore, you'll be allowed to carry in such an area. Karfe, and that's the Chiddush, that even though you meet the door and then you surround it, it's going to work. But in the vice versa case, if the first walls are there and then you build the door, it will not work. Karfe, Yosef, Yosef, Shokav, Ladiro. Vinismale, Mayim. You have a Karfe, you have an enclosure, which was made for a Dira, which was made to dwell in. And then what happens? Vinismale, Mayim. 
water fills up its whole carpet. What's the din now? Meaning, what's the question? Now that there's water inside it, you can't really use it so well. The whole din of a carpet, again, let's remind yourself one more time. Midar, right? He says, then, Rosh Hashanah. Midar, Abana, we don't let you carry because it's similar to Shasarab. But if you have the U in there, you have a phantom, it's connected to your house, you dwell there, then you're yes allowed to carry. So says the Gemara, what's the din? When it fills up with water, you don't care, you don't dwell there anymore, you don't hang there. Armelu Ravaba. Plant watering is like Netuyin, is like a row of trees, Vishari, and therefore it is a usage. You do use the water, so that's called part of your usage, and you'll be allowed to carry there. What we learned to Chavdalam and B says the Gemara Amar Amir Ma'ar, the Chaz Yonetash Mishtot, only if. The water you can use, similar to the trees, you can hang out in the shade. So if the water is usable, then it's true, you can carry there. Let's just look at this top Rashi. This Rashi is a tremendous, tremendous Rashi. Alok Lamaisa says, Rashi, when does the water, the reason why it's such a big deal, Alok Lamaisa, because anytime you make an area around the city, if you're to a marshland, you have a watery area, it's going to ruin your area, because anytime we know they have part of an area that you can't carry, and it mess up the whole area, because that's part that's opened up that area. So over here, when you have water, what do you need, Rashi? So the Gemara says, it has to have a usage. Rashi says, Lishtia, the Ein Al-Chadir it means to drink it. It has to be drinkable water, which obviously is a tremendous Chumrah, this Amachlik, as we shine him. It says, the Gemara, Maravashi, with the Chazan Lizah, Shemishtoy, Nami Lo Yamaran, El Sha'in Ba'imek, Gaze of Beis Asayim, the depth of the water area can be deeper than the Beis Asayim itself. Because again, it makes it a not usable area, the fact that it's so deep. says the Gemara, a pile of produce, pile of produce, even though it's in the backyard, you can't use that area, it doesn't mess it up, so too having this water. Says the Gemara, there was a certain Rachava, a certain backyard in a place called Vomnara, the Chargi, so one side of it, was open to the town. The Chargi, the Shil Shal Karam, it was open up to the vineyard, we'll show a picture in a moment. U Shvil Shal Karamim, and that vineyard, have a solidly good dinara opened up into the ocean. So, in case anyone got a little bit confused, here is the picture. You see the Mavoy, you see the Rechava, this back lot over here, and you see this path to the vineyard, and the path of the vineyard ends over here in the water. That's one picture, just in case for those who like more realistic 3D pictures, here it is, you see you have your Mavoy. You have your hub, your backyard over here, which is open into this path of vineyard, which then is open up into the ocean, which has the ocean bank, which is a wall. So it says the Gemara, What should I do in this case? Let's say I should put a machitza on that. And again, basically, the basic issue is we know this already. You have a mavoi, seemingly open up on both ends. One side's just ramming the other side. It's into Rachava, which is into the Kramim, into the vineyard, which is then into the water. How does this work? Says a bayi eich and avid levely mechitza gudin nara make a mechitza on the river bank. Says the you can't. I'm sorry, levely mechitza gudin nara. Ain't no isim mechitza al gavim mechitza. Can make one wall top another wall. There was a wall there on the river bank. Levely suras a pesach abum in the shul shall kramim. So maybe you should make a suras a pesach at the entrance way to the vineyard. Again, look at the picture from the rachava to this vineyard. Maybe at that point. You should make an entrance way, thereby closing off the back of the Rechava, allowing you to carry in it. Says the Gemara, But the camels are going to come, and they're going to knock it down. As you see over here, no, you did not see over here. As you see over here, the beautiful camels, that if you put them in Sirius Abbasat, the camels are going to come, and they're going to knock it down. So that's not going to work. Put a lechi, a vertical post, at the entrance to the vineyard. The me good demand the social karamim since that allows you to carry in the social karamim. Mahani lay the rachava love you for the rachava. When you see over here this picture, it'll make a lot of sense because this lachi. Once you put this lachi, basically the shlosal karamim, this pathway through the vineyard. At some level, it's its own type of mavoi. It has two walls, and the third wall, as you see over here, is open into the ocean. So this shvul kol karamim, what do you do? So the Gemara's first avamina was you see in this picture is make a mechitza. Says the Gemara, you can't make one mechitza dab another, and this already has a mechitza by the ocean. And so rather, what does the Gemara say? Rather, what the Gemara teaches us is the Gemara teaches us to go like this: make the lachi the engines of the shvul, engines of the of the path, and then it will help as well for the rechava. Says the Gemara, Amalei Rabba, Yomru Lachi, Mayel Shal Shal Karamim. 
Tama, you can't do that because people are going to think any time you have a path to a vineyard, put a balachi in that works. That's not good. Hello, my rava. Dimele lechi lepischa de mosa. Ah, put a lechi at the engine's way to the city. As you see over here, you do not see over here, apologies. As you see over here, the lechi is at the engine's way to the city. You see over here, this lechi, see over here, it's Rabim, not at the engine's way to the Kramim. for the backyard as well. Helkach says the Gemara, tell Tulei bin Masa Gufa, Shari, to carry in the town, that's mother. Tatuli Barachava Gufa Shari. That's also going to be mother because you have this lachi functioning both areas. Me Masa Lerachava, Rechava Le Masa, to carry both ways from the Masa, from the town, and from the town to the Rechava. On that says the Gemara, Pliba Ravacha Ravina, Chadazar Bechad Shari. We'll pick it up from there tomorrow. Again, just to make sure this is clear, as you see in this picture, that what the Gemara is saying is you make a lechi over here by the mavoi, and then since the mavoi lechi will help the mavoi, it as well will help you carry in the backyard, and we're not worried about people to come to carry other areas. We'll pick it up from here tomorrow.